On problem number three, we're asked to evaluate an integral. Um, and there's a couple different ways you can do this, but the way the answer is uh, formed, it makes one way much clearer than the other. So we have the integral of 1 plus square root of x quantity cubed dx. So one way you could approach this problem is you could just expand this out and do it term by term. Um, that may be easier, but if you notice, none of the answer choices have an answer that is just a bunch of terms one by one. So that's probably not going to work out. So we need to try this a different way, uh, just so that we don't have to do algebra and matching our answer to one of the ones on the answer choices. You can do this one by u substitution. So we're just going to set u equals 1 plus square root of x. So to do our u substitution, we need to take the derivative. That becomes 1 over 2 square root of x dx when you take its derivative. So therefore, your dx is equal to 2 square root of x du. So you can see that we don't have a square root of x that's going to cancel out. But we can rearrange square root of x to be in terms of u from our original equation. Square root of x is, in fact, u minus 1. So let's rewrite our integral now with all of those substitutions. <clears throat> so instead of 1 plus square root of x cubed, we get u cubed. Instead of dx, we get 2 root x du. But root x is u minus 1, so we get 2 times u minus 1 du. You can see now that's all in terms of u, and that's a pretty simple integral. So we can bring 2 out front and distribute the u cubed u to the fourth minus u to the third du. And now we can take the antiderivative. So we get 2 u to the fifth over 5 minus u to the fourth over 2. I distributed the 2 to both of those in that same process. So finally, we can just plug back in what we substituted for u in the first place. So we get 2 times 1 plus square root of x to the fifth all over 5 minus 1 plus square root of x to the fourth over 2 plus c. So that gives us answer choice b. So like I said, if you had done this just by expanding this uh, and doing it term by term, it is technically the same answer as this, but it would have been a little bit more difficult to show that those are the same thing. Uh, doing u substitution gives you the answer in the form that was necessary.